hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Sibian Tanda Azo if you are new to my channel welcome welcome don't forget to like to share and of course don't forget to subscribe so that you can be part of the family um so the name of my youtube channel is called the mentorship corner and we about all things mentorship all things growth and all things self-development so that you can be a better version of yourself um, for the month of July I have been running a self-love series where I have been tackling a few topics that sometimes we don't want to discuss just because of the way um, society has shaped those uh, topics or society has had like opinions and classified those kind of topics so we discuss things like failure things like forgiving yourself things like learning to love yourself and basically finding your true definition of how you love yourself and basically um finding who you are as a person and accepting that person for who they truly are and then taking them out to the world because obviously we are always there to share Share the love because as humans we are very social so on today's episode hey, on today's video <laughs> on today's video I am gonna be discussing the top 10 tips that will help you to love yourself and that will also help you to find yourself in this busy busy world of ours okay so I have made notes um, and these have done guys can see it these have all the 10 tips that you need to it's basically guys my opinion um, I stand to be corrected um, you could have a different opinion a different view um, you're more than welcome to share your opinion and view on the comment section down below um, remember the platform is there for all of us to learn and for all of us to grow so obviously if you want to challenge my opinion you are more than welcome and you can leave your comments on the comment section down below so I'm gonna get right into it um, the first part so I'm gonna just separate them into two so the first part is basically things you need to try and do to find yourself and then the last part is things that you need to try and do to actually learn to love yourself actually I think let's start with loving yourself and then we'll move over to um, finding yourself but these are almost like interlinked so to say because um, the other then leads to the other I, I don't know if I'm making sense yeah but yeah so the other may lead to the other like for example the first thing the first point says you need to take time out to spend with yourself alone so guys that's very very important but if you think about it um, that's gonna show you who you are as a person which means gonna help you find yourself and then two it's also gonna allow you to learn to love you and your imperfections as a person so that's why I'm saying um, actually let me not separate them I'm gonna make them just a list of 10 things that can help you 10 tips that you can actually follow to help you to find yourself and to also help you to love yourself because in all honesty um, one can lead to the other so that's why they kind of interlinked so the first tip is you need to take time out from the world take time out from your friends and family take time out from your internet from your cell phone from your social media to be with yourself this is very very important because once you silence the noise then you can actually start listening to your voice you can actually start listening to what the universe is telling you if you believe in god you can actually start listening to what god is trying to tell you about you yourself and your life and your purpose and your passion and all that drama the second part um still under taking time you need to take time to rest so i spoke about this on my wellness video i think last week but i'm still emphasizing this guys you need to take time to rest you know take time out and rest and just recharge and reboot and then go back and try and take over the world the third point is you need to learn to appreciate yourself so this is very very important because um i always um relate this to your achievements so basically when you achieve something you need to acknowledge and appreciate your achievements your milestones your goals if like guys if you have a goal and you've achieved it you actually deserve to 
you know appreciate yourself you can do it through the tips that i i told you guys on the reward yourself video where you maybe take yourself out maybe you buy that pair of jeans that you've always wanted but always thought you couldn't afford because now you have actually earned it what's most important is that you need to start appreciating you for who you truly are so appreciate everything about yourself you know everything about your body tell yourself you're beautiful because you are tell yourself you are loved because you love you you know tell yourself that you are cared for and you are important because you are important and you do care about yourself so it doesn't have to be love that's coming from the next person in order for you to start appreciating it it doesn't have to be compliments and comments that are coming from the next person in order for you to start appreciating it it's just you have to appreciate yourself guys it's very 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 important i cannot stress this enough the next point is basically you need to learn to put yourself first i always put it as um you need to be selfish with yourself um, my friends don't really agree with my choice of words but the reason why I'm saying you need to be selfish with yourself is because you must think about all the selfish people around there they always put themselves first and then everyone else follows um, that's what you should be doing because I'm gonna quote this again so now I know the quote guys it says <laughs> my cup runneth over because my cup is full which means if you take care of yourself if you put yourself first if you make sure that your feelings are hurt all the time i'm not saying you should not um include other people but if you make sure that you put yourself first always what's going to happen is you're going to have so much love and so much wisdom and so much knowledge and so much of everything that you will be able to then give to the people and give to other people your friends your family your colleagues or even strangers you're going to be able to give to them fully compared to giving um out when you yourself are in need do you get what i mean so you need to put yourself first you are important take care of your health take care of your well-being take care of your brain you know educate yourself expand your knowledge Take care of your body, you know, exercise, eat the right food, get enough sleep. And of course, take care of everything else that's related to you basically as a person. Because why? It is important to put yourself first because that is showing yourself that you are important, you are loved and you are appreciated. Okay. The next point is this leads, um, this also kind of leads to finding your purpose and your passion so um i listened to this podcast um yesterday morning and i was listening to jay shetty he was talking about purpose and passion he says um he explains it so well that i was like wow i was like mind blown so he says um passion is what makes you happy so it basically means what keeps you up at night you know what excites you what makes you smile when you do um what makes you feel complete and then purpose it's when you use that passion to serve others and that's then living your purpose that's then living a purposeful life and when he said that it actually made sense for example i love people like it makes me feel so good when i help people it makes me feel so good when i you know appreciate people and support people you know my friends my family even strangers it makes me feel so good when i know i can i'm, I'm, I'm able to help but um that's my passion and then now i started a youtube channel in order for me to actually expand that and actually teach people so that's now in line with my purpose so if you think about it your passion becomes your purpose i discussed this on one of my videos earlier on this year where i was i can't remember the video guys don't judge me but it's it's exactly that your passion becomes your purpose whatever it is that you're passionate about um becomes your purpose at the end of the day because that's what you land up pursuing so it is very 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 important to make sure that you nurse your hobbies and make sure um as i said on my previous videos as well that you have three important hobbies you have a hobby that keeps you creative you have a hobby you have a hobby that keeps you fit and makes sure that you are healthy and then you have of course a hobby that makes you money because obviously you still need to pay the bills and at the same time you still need to be happy and at the same time you still need to be living a 
purpose for life so nurse your hobbies they're very 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 important and um guys you never know what what's what's gonna click and what's gonna change your life and change your world basically so very very important nurse your hobbies as dumb as they may be you may think they are they are very very important and besides hobbies make you feel good and they make you feel happy and complete so please nurse your hobbies that was point number five point number six is you must be intentional about everything that you do um so this goes it goes literally all the way back from when you're waking up in the morning you must be intentional about your day when you wake up you must tell yourself okay fine this is a new day i've been granted life again today i'm gonna be grateful or i am grateful for this and this and this this is what my basically this is what needs to be done today this is what i need to do this is how i'm gonna do it and be intentional about everything um it it all goes to like as deep as when you're going to see a friend or when you're going to see a family or when you're going to see a spouse you need to be intentional about being with that person to an extent that you are able to shut out everything else and just focus on them for example if you're going on a dinner date um switch your phone off or put your phone on silent and place it aside unless of course um you need to take a business call or unless of course you need to keep replying on on business whatsapps or emails but Put your phone aside and actually be in the moment and actually be present in the moment and be intentional about whatever it is that you are doing at that present moment. That is very, 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 very important. The next point is you need to journal, guys. So you need to journal basically and write down your goals, your vision and basically... Um, Journal what you think is your purpose in life. This is very, very important because um, dreams without goals are just dreams. And goals without action plans are just goals. So you're not going to get anywhere. I hope I'm making sense. So I'm going to repeat that again. Dreams without goals are just dreams. And goals without action plans are just goals, which means you're not going to achieve anything. But if you have a dream, have a goal set towards achieving that dream and then once you've had a goal set make sure you start planning and putting your um goal your action plan basically so that you can achieve those goals then very 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 important and trust me you do not want to write it on your phone you do not want to write it on your ipad or your laptop or your tablet you want to write it down because the power of your pen and paper it's amazing it's amazing um i remember when i wanted to start a youtube channel i wrote it down on my goal plans and it haunted me down until i actually did it literally it haunted me down until i actually did it um there's another there's a very very amazing quote by um oprah which um says every word that follows i am will haunt you for life so if you say i'm a failure i can't do this what 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 that's what's going to follow you. But if you tell yourself, I'm a go-getter, I'm an achiever, I am successful, that's exactly what's going to follow you for the rest of your life. Because at the back of your brain, you're going to subconsciously keep playing those words and you're going to land up just steering yourself towards that direction. So journal and write down your goals. So what I do is I have a goal plan for like each week where it's actually things that I need to do during the week and things that I must make sure that is done and achieved during that course of the week i have a goal plan for the year and then i also have like short-term goals for like like two to three years i have like medium-term goals which is like five to six years and then i have long-term goals um and then um what i started to do this year which actually made me to appreciate life even more i started journaling every single day from the beginning of the year so i started journaling from the first of january till today i miss some days i'm not perfect some days i'm like super exhausted and i just want to get in the shower eat and run to bed but um i have tried to journal every single day and i have noticed the difference that it's making to me and like, basically the difference it's making in my life as a person i appreciate life more um i'm more present i'm more intentional and everything is a little bit more organized than before even though i'm an over planner naturally but everything is a little bit more organized now compared to before so 
journal write down your goals and then write down your action plans so that you actually make sure that your goals are achieved okay next step is Expand your knowledge, guys. Expand your horizon. So this can be done um, by you either reading up on a topic that you've always wanted to study. You can do this by taking an online course, doing your postgrad studies. It could be any or anything, like any and everything, basically. Um, so that's very, very important because that allows that you are forever growing um, and your perspective is forever being transformed and you're becoming a better person person and a better version of yourself so do do that please expand your horizon don't just be okay with being okay come on be a specialist in something you know be an expert in something in a certain topic in a certain subject because that also allows you to grow as a person and not just that it allows you to have self-confidence you know because you know i'm confident i know how to do this i'm good at doing this so you'll be more confident as a person overall because you know you kind of belong somewhere because that's also one of the human traits that we always want to feel like we belong that's why we fall for formal you know so expand your horizons learn new things study new subjects and basically grow as a person point number nine so point number nine says you can't be what you can't see so um this basically relates to finding yourself so you need to sit down with yourself and figure out what it is that you want in life what it is that you want to go after, what it is that makes you happy and complete and full, what it is that makes you wake up at night, stay up at night till late, sorry, and wake up early in the morning. Um, the main point is you need to fight, basically if there's, let's say for example, you want to be an author, excuse me, and you want to write, um, let's say entertainment books or fiction, um and then for you to get there you need to first i think it's very important to actually shadow an author or at least introduce yourself to someone who's an author even if you don't know get to know them face to face or at a personal level but just shadow them follow them follow their journey read about them what they think about what 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 that gives you an idea of their life um their perspective and how they see things and that's going to give you an idea of whether you want to be like that person or whether you want to be to continue basically to aspire to be um an author in the end um like for example guys if you want to be like i'm trying to find like a good example for example if you want to be like an a student in class this is like a typical example um if you want to be like an a student in class you need to know how they think even if you won't necessarily learn to think like them, but you need to know how they approach problems, you need to know how they approach questions, you need to know how they approach studying, how they structure their study timetable, how they structure the study plans, because that's what makes them get the A, right? We need to know how much hours do they sleep, how much hours do they spend studying, so that you know what's expected for you to get that specific result, and then you'll know whether it's something you are willing to to do it's a is it a journey you are willing to follow um if not then maybe you'll find another way to achieve it if it is then you know start following slowly in their footsteps um because that's ultimately what will lead you to becoming an a student as well it's the same thing with life you need to find people who are more successful in the field that you're interested in um learn how they got there what's their story what pushed them and then find your way around there. I hope it makes sense. Yeah, find your way around there. And then the last and most important point is that um, loving yourself and finding yourself is an is a process, and it's a never-ending process. Um, 
be mainly because the world is forever changing um, technology is forever evolving we are growing as people so we learn new things every once in a while basically every day we see new things every day so obviously our perspective and our view um, it's ba it basically means where you were yesterday is not going to be in the same place as you're going to be the following day and where you were like an hour ago is not going to be where you're going to be you know um, now in the present so we are for forever changing we are forever evolving we are forever growing so you need to allow yourself to be patient with yourself and allow yourself to grow um obviously you need to steer yourself towards the right direction which is the direction that you think is right for you you need to sit down with yourself and listen to yourself um in order for you to learn to grow as a person most importantly um you need to remember that loving yourself and finding yourself as a person it's a never-ending process um because as i said before we are forever growing the world is forever changing so just be patient with yourself and um you know love you and do you you know and learn and grow and be passionate um before i leave you guys i want to explain so i normally explain emotions using this garden analogy um but i'm actually going to explain your growth and basically you finding yourself as a person so let's picture a garden so if you want to start a garden first you must find a piece of land so the piece of land is already there the piece of land is yourself let me drink water okay so as i was saying um if you want to start a garden you need to first find the piece of land so the piece of land is already there that's you yourself and you and then what's going to happen you need to start preparing the land that's you growing and developing and you know whatever um and then once you have plowed the land you have made your rows and you're ready to plant you need to go get the seeds right and that's you acquiring new information so you get the seeds and then you plant the seeds correct once you've planted the seeds what you need to then do is you need to nurture the garden so you need to nurture your seeds so you need to make sure you water your plants you need to make sure you pluck out the weeds when they do grow in order for you to keep the right plants the ones that you actually plant are growing and that means um that's allowing you to grow as a person so there's gonna be times where um the weeds overgrow in your garden and that's times where you are clouded you are confused and you are lost so what you need to try and do is you need to try and pluck out all those weeds in order for you to see the plants that you actually planted in your garden so by doing that you are trying to take out all the toxicities that are actually clouding your judgment that are actually like making you feel too overwhelmed too stressed it's all those feelings and all those things that sometimes unfortunately you can't take away forever so what you then do you pluck out the weeds to allow the plants to grow but then you actually take some of the weeds and you allow them to be a fertilizer so you pluck them out but you still put them around your plants in order for them to fertilize your plants in order for your plants to then truly grow so what that means is that sometimes in life we go through stuff we experience trauma we lose a loved one we go through a breakup but, but what happens is we should not allow those things to find us we should not allow those things to be weeds in our gardens to cloud and to not allow the plants to grow but what we should do is we should allow ourselves to hurt heal and let go and then pluck out all the weeds and actually keep them as dead weeds in order to fertilize our plants and that's ultimately going to allow you to then take all the lessons that you have learned in all your past negative and toxic experiences so that you can then take that information and the lessons that you learned there forward into your future and then basically it ultimately allows you to grow as a person and it ultimately allows you to grow and become a better person um so yeah guys i hope i'm making i know i'm making this one i know i'm not hoping i know i'm making sense this garden analogy helped me so much to realize a lot of things in my life um life is not perfect guys that's like the last thing i want to tell you life is not perfect we are always growing we are always learning and we are always um you know getting hurt you know we always fall and we always just try to get back up 
basically that's that's life that's how it is that's how it goes um bottom line is you are smart you are kind and you are important and do not forget that i love you guys a lot i hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did like it if you haven't subscribed already sorry <laughs> If you haven't subscribed already and don't forget to click that red subscription button down below i'll see you guys on our next video bye